Hello my dear friends, welcome and welcome back to Artsy Not Farty. My name is Julia and today I want to take you with me on a fairy tale, making a new page in my disc bound journal for all and create and I will link to the supplies in the description box below. Starting off I have a panel of thick watercolor cardstock measuring 7 by 7 inches and I have a few spray ink. There is Distress Oxide Spray in Tumbled Glass, Dilution Spray Ink in Periwinkle Blue, London Blue and Mushy Peas. I have a Shimmer Spray in Island Parrot and a Mica Spray Stain in Snow Flurries, along with a spray bottle with water. I will also add Distress Oxide Spray in Vintage Photo after a while. I start with misting my panel with water and then I add Mushy Peas, Tumbled Glass, Periwinkle Blue and London Blue, followed by Vintage Photo and the Shimmer Sprays. I pull out a piece of cardstock and smoosh it together with my panel so I don't waste that gorgeous ink. And then I spray some more ink and water until I'm happy with my background panel. Next I have some texture paste from Ranger and a stencil called Cracked Walls 1, number 37. I have waited for the background to dry completely and I placed the stencil where I sprayed the brown vintage photo. Then I use a palette knife to push paste through that stencil and when I remove the stencil I am left with a bunch of bricks. While my bricks dry, I bring out a favorite stamp set called Bacon, number 345, with adorable little pigs. I load my stamping platform with Stratmore Bristol Smooth Paper that my friend Nancy sent me when she learned how hard it is to find where I live, because I want to color with my Arteza Real Brush Markers, and they work best on smooth cardstock. I stamp my pigs in VersaFine Onyx Black ink first on copy paper and then on the Bristol Smooth paper and if you're interested in amazing card making I will leave a link to Nancy's channel The Handy Scandy in the description box below. My brick wall is dry now and I use copy paper to mask off the rest of the panel. Then I use Distress Oxide Spray in Fired Brick, spraying over the bricks. Dry texture paste is porous like paper and is easily colored. Next we are coloring the pigs using Arteza Real Brush Markers. They are watercolor markers and they should blend well with water, but the bristles are fragile and sometimes it's hard to blend them with water, so I end up often blending them with each other instead. I wanted these pigs to stand out, so I chose four bright pink markers. As usual, I give the pig a coat of the lightest pink first, adding shadows with the three darker and blending together with the lightest pink marker again. The pigs are bright pink, so I choose two coral pink shades for the hoofs and tail. For the next little piggy I do the same process coloring his skin, hoofs and tail. But when I color his shirt I use four blue markers and for his cute bow tie I use two yellows and an orange marker. I 
I do the same coloring on my third little pig, and I color the flower with the same yellow and orange markers as I used on the bow tie. So I have my background with the bricks all dry now and I bring out my blade and cut a little window in the brick house. Then I bring out the same faux wood strips that I have used many times and a couple of videos back I show you how I make them. I glue thin strips of wood around the window and a couple of broader strips for the roof. I have my three little pigs and now it is time for the wolf from the set called Red and Wolf number 639. I stamp the wolf in VersaFine onyx black ink on that Stratmore Bristol smooth paper. Once again I'm using the Arteza markers to color, this time in four shades of grey. And I do as I always do, I give his fur a coat of the lightest grey and add shadows with the three darker greys. And then I blend it all together with the lightest grey again. For his face and tummy I use the lightest grey and do my best to drag that color out with a wet brush. Next we have the stamp set Go Wild number 656 but I will only use the flowers Bird and Mushroom. I also bring out a set called Breathe In Breathe Out number 575 and On Cloud 9 number 577 and I stamp trees, flowers, bird and mushrooms in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink on Bristol Smooth Paper. So let's color some trees and flowers. I have four shades of green Arteza markers, but I start with two brown shades for the tree stems. I use the green markers the same way as I always do. I color the trees in the lightest green and add depth with the darker greens around the edges and blend out with the lightest green again. And I color many trees just to be sure I have enough. When coloring the rest I use colors already used to tie everything together. This flower is colored with the same four blue shades as the shirt on the one pink. And for the mushrooms and flowers I use the same pink shades as the pigs, the same yellow and orange as the bow tie and the same greens as in the trees.
Now, let's put this page together, but first the characters need some ground to stand on, so I use archival black soot ink and the torn copy paper. I blend the black ink over the torn paper and get just enough black for the pigs and wolf to stand on. The first thing I do is to glue one of the pigs in the window and then I put a piece of leftover patterned paper behind him as wallpaper for the house and then I start gluing flowers in a row under the window. Next, I glue some trees on the hill furthest away and add the mushrooms there as well. I put foam tape behind my second pig and glue him down looking at the flowers. Then I do the same to the wolf and the last pig popping them up on foam tape. Off camera I stamped a second wolf and cut out and colored only his arm. I glue a flower onto the wolf and on top of the flower I glue the second arm popped up on foam tape so the wolf seemed to have brought flowers to the pig. I glue down the bird on foam tape and then I move on to a sentiment. I bring out a set called Blooming Field, number 229, and I choose the sentiment saying, The time to be happy is now. I stamp the sentiment in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, cut it down to a strip, and darken the edges with black soot ink. I glue the strip onto a wood strip and cut that down as well, leaving a wood border. I glue the sentiment onto my page with foam tape. And finally, it is time to glue the page onto black cardstock and add it in my discbound journal. And now, this all and create mixed media page is finished. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until the next time, happy crafting.